It's Money Monday, and we're talking about why now could be a great time to pay off your credit card debt. The New York Federal Reserve says Americans owe more than $1.1 trillion at the end of 2023, and it says that's a 46% increase from the beginning of 2021. Our financial expert, Paul Hood, joins us with why people should look at getting those numbers down. Uh, Paul, good to see you. Good to see you. Debt's a big business for some of it these is, companies. It yeah. is, And uh, unfortunately, with high inflation, that obviously affects credit cards and some of the fees for that. So how does high inflation impact credit cards? Well, it, uh, high inflation uh, typically doesn't necessarily directly influence credit cards, but what it does is it, it, it influences people's spending habits. When things are more expensive, then people turn to credit cards instead of reducing their lifestyle. They're accustomed to going to this coffee shop or whatever, and so then you blink and all of a sudden your credit card it balloons up. Mm -hmm. and, and then what they do to curb inflation is raise interest rates, which then you're kind of stuck. And especially those credit cards, too. Those rates are really high right now. They are. Um, so is there anything that you can do to maybe negotiate with your credit card company? Are there any options out there for people sure. that have some debt? Sure. Uh, so there's companies out there that do consolidations, and they'll a lot of times will help you uh, negotiate uh, and then contact the credit card companies and try to take less um, and then set you up on a fixed payment plan. The, the big thing you have to know is there's two things. One, it's dangerous because if you don't change your spending habits, you'll consolidate and five years later you have everything charged back up. Second, when a credit card lowers your debt, forgives your debt, it's actually income to you on your income tax. You'll get a 1099-C that says it's called debt forgiveness income. You have to pay taxes on it. So there's ways around that, but you there's those hidden things in there. Yeah, the IRS is still going to look out for you. Uh, and then finally, a lot of people out there have credit card debt. They have student loan debt. How do you prioritize which debts you pay off first? Well, it depends on the direction you're going. If you're going to consolidation, then you know you don't pay that off. It, the principle of success is little victories. A lot of times we'll tell people to pay minimum payments on all their credit cards except for the lowest balance one. Pay that one off, create a victory, and start on the next one. Okay. Paul, thanks so much. Great yeah. advice. We appreciate, appreciate it. Uh, Tatum, over to you.